Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of CE Week 2015 on Be Terrific in New York City. You're the Terrifics. I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks so much for watching. You make Be Terrific special. We're keeping the beat going. We're having a lot of fun. We got a lot of great companies here that are amazing, really innovative products. But there's a product that I saw yesterday. This guy, JD, came up to me. He said, listen, I just want to show you something. I know you've got a full schedule, but if you could find some time for us. Now, I like finding innovative companies doing innovative things. In this show, we are totally booked. We don't have another second, but we found some time for JD and Amanda. And it's not because JD is a good looking guy, which he is. It's more Absolutely. because he's got a product that is for <laughs> safety, and this can help save lives. And another product that could also help save lives, and I'll explain as we show them to you. So, He's from Whistler. You know Whistler for radar detectors. Yep. Uh, years, uh, they've, had, they've made great radar detectors, but JD, you guys have come out with a product for motorcycle safety, and it's not a radar detector. This is something, you know, motorcyclists get hit a lot. Yes. Uh, the biggest traffic fatalities in the United States are motorcyclists. Correct. How are we going to help prevent that? Well, let's start with what you guys have done, and you've got something you've put on the helmet that I hope will translate to cyclists and all sorts of other things. It's brilliant. The helmet is not yours, the technology is yours. It's, it's, it's going to help you know what a motorcyclist is trying to do while you're behind the motorcyclist. Absolutely, it is, what to your point, this is about safety. Yeah. We all know that those crashes are, are, can be avoided in a lot of cases, and so what we looked at is how do we bring the indicator lights on the motorcycle? How do we bring them up to an eye level for the people behind them? Because that's where a lot of accidents do happen, is where they get rear-ended. So what we did is took the technology, and we have a, a modulator here that we hardwire into the bike. You put it into the bike, it's very simple. It's a 25 minute install, 30 minutes tops. And it basically- And, and you can install it yourself. Yourself, this is a yeah. DIY. This is not something that you have to have professionally. You can. Even me? Absolutely. I could not install it, are you sure? I can do it, and if well. I can do it, you can do it. So Maybe, uh, but you, you can, can have it professionally installed as well. Absolutely, and it's look, not a big deal. It's life-saving tech, it's important. <laughs> well, I think it is, and I think what you need to understand is that when you have your turn signals and indicator lights down on the bike, a lot of times they're not very visible. They're below the hood level of the vehicle behind you. Especially so when you're on a low rider, or you're absolutely. on a, even one of those, uh, they a call custom. rice burners, it, rice burn, or yeah. uh, which I like, those are the sportier bikes, yep. or you're on, and, and really anything, especially when you have a custom bike, because they get lost sometimes, because you want something cool and sleek right. and custom. Them. That's yeah. right, so what we want to make sure is that there's safety. Yeah. So we took the indicator lights, we brought them up to the helmet level. Okay. So we've raised that up a good three to five feet, so now you're a lot more visible. A lot of other times too, if you have college kids and students that are going to college and they are on moped bikes, that kind of a thing, this is a great item for your child to wear. Well, and I think it's great for cyclists too when you get it to them because then you don't have to use those silly indicator. What were they? The And people never remember those. Yeah. You know, it's ridiculous. So what you've got is you've got the turn signals. So if you're turning, it, sh it flashes yellow to the side you're turning, you've got a brake light as well. Yeah, basically right now I'm turning left and I have my brake lights on. Okay. So it all it does is mimic what your bike is actually doing. It right. doesn't take away. You still have the lights on your bike, sure. but it's kind of duplicating. And again, it's bringing it up to a higher level so that the people behind you can see what you're about to do. I think it would actually be good to have a front strip too, uh, in the future to add a front strip. And I'll tell you why, because there are a lot of people who are coming at bikes don't know if they're turning, or if point. you're looking in your rear view mirror and you see a bike coming up on you, it'd be great to have the lights telling you which way the bike, especially when those guys, I mean, those you know they weave, right? That's right, that's right. exactly and, and right. They, and they ride the lines, which they shouldn't do. Exactly. I love biking, just be safe. Uh, I wanted a motorcycle when I was younger and then decided it was too dangerous, but I love safety. And I think it would be great for cyclists if, if we can get it there, but definitely for mopeds. We see a lot of mopeds now, mopeds. segways, all sorts of great stuff. Yep. I think this is awesome. How do people get it? Well, you can go online, obviously, yep. to Amazon.com, and yep. you can uh, purchase it online. What do we call it? This is the Moto Glow by Whistler. Okay. It's a helmet Moto, safety light. Moto Glow. Moto Glow, M O T O G L O. I like that. It does what it says. Absolutely. I, I would have said the uh, motorcycle save your life device, but I, I think that that might have been a little too long winded. We kind of got to keep <laughs> it short. Moto Glow. <laughs> yes. I love absolutely. it. Absolutely. And Amazon's the best place Amazon's to buy it. Amazon's the best place to get it right now. There'll be some other future retailers that'll carry it, but for right now, if you want it today, Go to Amazon.com and you can get it easily. Cool, I like that a lot. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Absolutely. Moto Glow, and you can go to Whistler's site for more you information. Can, yes, you can, and you can also buy from our site too. If okay, you want. Whistler, is it Whistler.com? Whistler, Whistlergroup.com. Whistlergroup.com. Amanda, you've got a product. Now, most people would say this isn't going to save a life, but it could when you get stranded and your battery's dead and it's frozen in the winter. And, or you're on the side of the road and you're trying to start your battery or in a parking lot, sometimes someone would come up to you, carjack you, mug you, uh, do all sorts of terrible things. Plus, if you're 
on the side of the road or something or in a dangerous spot, you can get hit. And you've got something called the safe start, which everybody could have in their backpack, their bag, their, even in their car. Absolutely. Um, it's really just a kind of an insurance. Um, to, you can put it in your vehicle and it will stay, it will maintain 80% of its charge for up to a year. Okay. So you can kind of just store it and forget about it until you need it. Another thing that's really neat about this product is it has um, a USB so you can charge your devices. If you're ever in an emergency situation and your phone's dead, um, it does have that USB. So I noticed it also has a flashlight that also strobes and does SOS. Yep, and beacon too. Very so. nice. And so show, uh, maybe you guys could show us, this. so this is, how much is this thing? This, this particular yeah. unit right here will retail for $59. $59, it'll yeah. store the power for up to a year, so you can just leave it in your car, put yourself a reminder in your calendar, like a week before a year is up, hey, charge that thing back up. Absolutely. It takes like a couple hours to charge, yep. um, and it charges your, it'll charge your battery in your car in a matter of minutes. Uh, it, actually, it jump starts it jump your battery. Starts. Yeah. It's oh. so, so if your battery's dead, you left your lights on, or kids were listening to music, and you come out and it will not start, all you simply do is plug this in, you can see, Simple plug and it's it safe. in. It's about it's safety. safe. Because I always am I'm worried with the jumper cables that I'm gonna, you know, electrocute myself. Yeah. Absolutely. I put one on each ear. Is that a bad move? That's a bad move. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't want to do that. Maybe one ear and one tongue, but uh, no, okay. <laughs> so anyway, I'll tell you, if all you have to do is put your red to your positive, black to the negative. If you for whatever reason reverse polarity it, yeah. our safety, premium safety cables are gonna let you know with an indicator Instead light. Instead of blinking green, it'll blink red. It, it'll be red. Okay. So, but that's not good change it back. And it's a quick, it's easy plug-in, it's plug. simple and safe. Boom. You're not going to electrocute yourself You can only plug it that. in one way. Okay. So it lets you do that, and there you go. And, and then done. how long does it take to start the car? A matter of minutes? About, about three seconds. Three seconds. And what if your battery is like dead dead? Like it's a decrepit old battery, you didn't replace it because you're a delinquent. Hey, that's a great question. Yeah. If your battery <laughs> like is Like me, less, I'm, I'm, I'm just a degenerate with that. I'm well, like, oh, I need a new battery? <laughs> you know, just, just keep jumping it, right? I don't yeah. want to go spend a new battery. But if you're less than eight volts, this will flash yellow to you and tell you that the battery is too low to be jumped. And will so it, that's an additional safety feature. And so will it give you, but will it give you power? Will it start like trickling if, it in it, for it, an hour or it two? Will, it will start a little bit under eight eight yeah. volts, but we recommend that you go get a battery. You have a battery problem. You have a dead cell in right. your battery. Not good to jump any battery that has a dead cell. Right. So again, that's an extra safety feature that okay. we put on board. Uh, very cool. And yeah. and then uh, and and this is this will do a V6 and a and a, a four cylinder and a six cylinder engine. Right. This is a four and a six. It Flat has, or V. Right. It has 320. <laughs> right. It has 320 cranking amps which will take care of anything that you have in a four and a six cylinder. We yeah. do have several steps up that will take care of eight cylinders and probably Q4 will have one for a diesel. What about a 12 cylinder? I don't know, some people in New York, they got the S600 Mercedes. Yeah, that will be one of, <laughs> when we come out with our Q4 product, yeah. that will be the best for that. 12 cylinders, yeah. really, yeah. S600, it's crazy. you see them all over the city, it's all crazy, over. right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And uh, I don't know if maybe I would jump that. I don't know, maybe you call somebody at that point. That's probably what we yeah. might want to do. But might, I think when the yeah. Q4, when we come out with our higher model, it'll yeah. start that. But this is awesome. I mean, you could literally have it in it's, your pocket and it'll charge your phone. Yeah. Yeah, that's Peripherals pretty cool. will charge your phone. Again, it's just a 2.1 USB. It's got the light on it. And it's great for college kids. Yeah. I mean, to put yeah. it in the backpack, you can just Peace of it. mind. It's I think Amanda said it best, an yeah. insurance policy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, now you said uh, you guys have this great accent. You said you're from somewhere in the Midwest. <laughs> is that true? Correct. It's true. Where are you guys from? <laughs> Arkansas, Bentonville, Arkansas. Wow, Bentonville, Arkansas. What's it like in Arkansas? <laughs> it's very pretty. Yeah, I bet. Actually, uh, and, and this is where uh, Clinton was from, right? Clinton Governor was from Clinton. the state of Arkansas. Yeah, lived President in Clinton. Little Rock. He was from yeah. Hot Springs. But we up, are up in the northwest corner of Bentonville. Okay. So it's kind of like on the Missouri uh, border. And is that where Whistler is from? Yeah. How'd you guys get it? You've been in Whistler for a while. How'd you guys get involved? Basically. Well, she's probably been there a week. She, she's, she's been here a couple of years. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just, uh, we, uh, we had an opportunity to sell uh, to, uh, to the industry. Mm -hmm. We took, obviously, we're known for radar detectors, and we just kind of expanded that into different products. But and, you've been there a while. You, I've been here. You for, always like speed in cars and said, why not work for a radar detector company, get some free radar detectors? It's kind of like that. Yeah. It's like, you know, here's an opportunity for me to, uh, to grow in an industry. And, and, and uh, work in, a, in motorsports. Absolutely. And, and then for you, how did you get involved? Do you just like cars and speed and stuff like that? <laughs> I do the PR and marketing, yeah. and he actually recruited me, so. Wow, very nice. Yeah. That's cool. How's she doing? Fantastic. Making you proud? Absolutely. <laughs> She's like another kid I, to you. You've got two kids. I recruit good people. You do, clearly. <laughs> and, and you've got two kids. Absolutely. Two All kids. Right. A boy and a girl. Excellent. Congratulations. Excellent. You're very hey, proud of them. You. I know Absolutely. that. Absolutely. All right. Good That's kids. JD and Amanda. You guys are awesome from Whistler.
Uh, thanks for having some fun with us this morning, and thanks for showing us two really great safety products. I'm glad we could squeeze you on. Go to whistlergroup.com for more. You can buy them on Amazon, both affordable, both reasonable, but both safety products, and I love that, innovating in safety. You know, you used to have those huge battery packs you have to charge your car, and then that's crazy, and how do I charge it, and when do I charge that, and is that dangerous? And a little thing you can put in your pocket. And then the helmet thing, I mean, that's a no-brainer. That is excellent. All right, we'll be back with a whole lot more right after this on your live continuing coverage of CE Week 2015. You're the Terrifics, I'm Michael Artsis. By the way, Ben Rathick, thank you for watching. I know you love this product. You're a motorsports guy, so thank you for being in our Slack chat. We'll be back with a whole lot more right after this. Don't go anywhere.